Because I'm going back, back and forth, forth, back, back. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back for I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo, Tom. I guess I'm still in a little bit of a musical mood. Um, I'm actually doing work. That's why I have my glasses on, mainly because I'm just too lazy to put my contacts in. So if I look distracted, well, it's because I am distracted. Because making money is a good thing. You son of a bitch. Give me all the money. Yeah. People say, yeah, money doesn't buy happiness. But I'll tell you what, it sure does feel good sleeping in a bed in a house, driving a truck, and have the ability to go fishing. And watch pro wrestling. So yeah, so this weekend's actually chocked full of pro wrestling. In fact, it's a triple, triple, triple header. This weekend, uh, from what I'm gathering on the old interweb, it all starts off with the Night of Champions, presented by WWE. Uh, see, so I have my predictions down here. Yep, predictions or best guesses. Actually, WWE is pretty easy kind of follow it's not crazy Let's see here. Let's do that there we go make up for the last scores I gave so let's see here I will not be able to watch I don't know if I'm gonna be I don't know it says it starts at 1 p.m. I do want to get to the gym but I have to be at work by 5 we'll see um, probably opening up, we have Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. Let's skip this match. Becky Lynch is going to win. I don't know how much Trish Stratus has left in the tank. Just, you can snooze through this match. Then we have Rhea Ripley versus Natalia. Natalia's not mommy and Italian yet. Man, mommy three times over. Those gazongas. Little, little action with her sister. Too. Oh, wait a second. That's improper. Rhea Ripley's going to win. She's she's keeping that belt for a while, I think. Then we have Bianca Belair versus Asuka. There has to be some kind of belt change. I'm predicting this is the one belt that actually changes. I have Asuka defeating Bianca Belair. Then in my stone cold lock of the night. We have Gunther versus Mustafa Ali. Gunther is not losing that belt. What's wrong with you guys? Um, and then in my match of the night, we have Kevin Steen and El Generico. I correct myself. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn taking on the bloodline in the form of Roman Reigns. And Solo Sokoa. I think there's going to be a little dissension in the bloodline. Things are not going perfectly right. I can't see giving Roman all the belts. So you know what? Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are going to win. Kill, Steen, kill. And ole, 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 ole. Lucha. Lucha, Lucha. On the next match, right before the main event, we have Cody Rhodes. Adrenaline in my veins. The American Nightmare himself versus the Beast, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, Cody is going to win this match. That's going to put the end of the Brock Lesnar feud for a while. 
Brock will go take a nap somewhere until they need him again. Cody Rhodes is going to win. And then your main event of the evening, the brand new WWE Championship. Aren't there three of them now? Roman has two. This makes three. I don't know. WWE, be very careful. You're getting too many belts. We have Seth fucking Rollins versus Demi Gods. Wait, how does that song go now? Demi Gods and Hungry Ghosts. I know I love no more. I never thought I'd met someone like you again. AJ Styles' best theme. Demigods. Great song. Amazing song, actually. Impact did have good theme music. I don't know. AJ Styles is getting old. He's long in the tooth. He may want to branch out a little bit. Do a retirement tour. I mean, he has, I think, like four kids. He's done everything. What what can you really say that AJ Styles hasn't done? I mean, maybe a tag team belt, but he's held, he's held every federation's major belt. What hasn't he done? So you know what? Seth freaking Rollins wins. This might set up something between him and Roman Reigns later. Again, former Shield members. Makes an inkling of sense. And that, folks, is the first of three wrestling events. Stay tuned. There's going to be more. We're just right after this. You know what I forgot to say? Hit my music. Action is made. Second. I just put my contact lenses in too, so I'm a little bleary eyed. I'm getting older. I take a little bit more adjustment time. Of course, having the sun kind of set or begin to set right in my eyes. Ooh, that's never a good thing. Yep, so I have my other much shirt of them all. Yeah. I have three of them. Yeah. You never have enough macho t-shirts. So we have NXT Battleground on Sunday. Um, Sunday is going to be a weird day. It all depends a little bit what uh, Baked Live decides to air and what I can watch on the old mobile device here. Because NXT Battleground is going up against... AEW, Double or Nothing, on the same day. So it's kind of weird like that. Um, I figure since I'm in a WWE state of mind, NXT is pretty close to that. Let's talk about some NXT Battleground. It's also kind of a short card, which is good. AEW, it's longer. I don't know. That's going to be like a day of decision. So I just realized I have to get food for the Russell Feast. That's also important to have a Russell Feast. Yes. Um, so NXT Battleground is next. Um, we start off probably with Gaddis versus the Creed Brothers. This is always good to see brother. Brothers versus brothers. Brother. Um, I think the Creeds are going to take those belts back. I think that's going to be a good match. It's going to be a hard fought match. This is setting up for a good trilogy. Again, this would be the second, uh, so this would be, again, the start of a good feud for a while. Probably, what is it, May, June, July, leading into SummerSlam-ish. That would be good. So yeah, Creed Brothers take the belt. Um, Noam Dar, I miss the Supernova Superstar. Who's dating Alicia Fox? Wow, I got that. 
Right. On spot. Alicia Fox. I miss Alicia Fox. She was entertaining at least. Um, taking on Dragon Lee. You know what? Dragon Lee is going to win. Great AAA CMLL superstar and New Japan star. Dragon Lee wins. Um, and, oh, this is going to be a hurting ma match. And this match of the night. We have Dijak. Feast your eyes. And if you saw my video about Rockville, yes, even I go shirtless every so often. So you ladies can feast your eyes on this. Uh, let's see here. What else? Oh, yeah, he takes on Ilya Dragunov. This is going to be a hard-hipping slap match in which these two guys absolutely destroy each other. I have Dijak winning. This can lead to Ilya's crisis of confidence. Classic wrestling idea. So Ilya Dragunov's going to lose. Good, solid, hard-hitting match without becoming a neck-breaking competition like New Japan does. So yeah, Dijak wins. NXT has to throw this guy a bone after all he's done for them. And then we have the North American Championship match. Wes Lee versus Joe Gacy versus Tyler Bates. Wes Lee's a good fighting champion. A good open challenge champion. Tyler Bates, there's just something about him. Joe Gacy? Ugh. I have Tyler Bates winning. This is going to be a fun match. Not necessarily the match of the night, because this is going to be like super flippy and stuff. It's going to be good. Then we have the woman's belt, and this, folks, is my stone cold lock of this show, at least. You have Lyra Valkyria versus Tiffany Stratton. I'll be honest, I haven't watched NXT in a while. Mainly because I've been working a lot Tuesday nights. and Or actually, I've been working a lot Tuesday days and Tuesday nights and Tuesday evenings kind of like nap time for me. Before I go for my, my, my annual hoboing, my weekly hoboing, my tri weekly hoboing actually. And going to the gym. NXT, other than the maybe main event and opening match, has kind of become like glorified house show material, at least in my opinion. Tiffany Stratton's the homegrown product. They've kind of pushed her a lot over time. <sighs> Tiffany Stratton gets the belt, only because I know absolutely nothing about. It. Tiffany Stratton's the name value, I guess. She's been there for a while. Lyra of Valkyria. Who knows who she is? Tiffany Stratton's going to be a transitional champion anyway. Tiffany Stratton wins. Bet on it, though. I hate to say it. The one match that you, that you can kind of snooze through, it's going to be for the NXT Championship belt. Carmelo Hayes versus... Braun, Stein, Braun Rex Steiner, or Braun Breaker, or, or Steiner Breaker, I, I, I forget, whatever. Um, Braun Breaker's been portrayed as a heel, which is weird. Um, he must be asking Uncle Scotty for a lot of heel advice. I have Braun Breaker winning. I think him just feuding with Carmelo Hayes, and again, until SummerSlam, until he finally loses it, and then gets pushed to the main, main roster, I'll say in August, for SummerSlam, Braun Breaker's going to be champion, drop the belt, head on out to the main roster. Do something 
like that, I think. Or, yeah, I can see that happening. I can even see Carmelo Hayes showing up on the Raw after Night of Champions. Again, perfectly plausible. Braun Breaker wins. Uh, just take a nap during this match. This is going to be like that good NXT TV match where something actually does happen. But yeah. So that's NXT Battleground. Short, sweet, to the point. Uh, the next one I'll review after this break will be, of course, AEW. Double or nothing. The end of the wrestling trifecta. Sorry about that, folks. I had to go take care of some business. As you can tell, back into AEW mode for AEW Double or Nothing. The third of the triple header of wrestling this weekend. So again, I don't know which I'm going to be covering. It all depends, which is probably easier. For the mods over at um, the illegal wrestling stream I watch. So, yeah. And as you can tell, the sun's obviously moved because I can actually see my eyes for a change, which is always good. And my last paper, I'll kind of sneak in. Ooh, that's a four all the way, baby. But, yeah. Um, so, this is for double or nothing. Gambling terminology. Degenerates bunch they are so we'll probably start off with Adam Cole baby, Adam Cole, baby. Boom. boom versus Chris Jer oh is that a gun I saw oh yeah yeah um so it's Adam Cole baby Boom. Versus the pain maker. The pain maker. The rain maker. No, he's not talking about the rain maker. Y2K. Chris Jericho. Um, Adam Cole is going to win this match. And listen, let's get real. Sabu is a guest enforcer. Honestly, the true winner of this match is really Sabu. But yeah, he's a guest enforcer. He just might win. Sabu. Sabu's the best. Sabu hits the triple flip on Chris Jericho. And then the Arabian face buster on Adam Cole, baby. And Adam Cole, baby, goes boom. Sabu wins. No, honestly, Adam Cole win. Sabu's just there to do the triple, just to hit the, Ara the triple flip and Arabian face buster on people. So, yeah, Sabu wins. Sabu always wins. I gotta, go. I gotta go start getting ready for work soon. Yeah, that'll be nice. Solid. Seven and a half ish plus hours or so. Now I have to figure out math. But yeah, um. Then we have Ethan, all ego, Ethan Page, and the guns. Because I'm an Ashman. Wait, how did, you, how did that look so nice before? Oh, it's this one. Boom! It's the guns, baby. All about them guns. Taking on Hook and the Hardys. Hook and the Hardys are going to win. Hook does not lose. Uh, Jade Cargill takes on Ty Valkyrie. This is a battle of who and or what pops up first. Ty Valkyrie's taking that belt off Jade Cargill. Pretty sure about that. Then we have 
the Blackpool Combat Club versus the Elite. This is just going to be a bloody mess. The Blackpool Combat Club is going to win. The Elite are being phased out because a certain punk is coming back, I think. Then we have Jamie Hayter versus Tony Storm. I could honestly care less. Um, again, this is just a battle of, of what pops out when and where. Jamie Hayter wins. Tony Storm's not, I don't know. But feels she couldn't win the belt, then Hikaru Shida takes it back. I don't know. Tony Khan doesn't know. So odd. Then we have the tw then it's time to take a little nap. You have the twenty one man battle royal. Jay White's the odd man out. Because there's two people from Bullet Club. Because they're too sweet for life. So yeah, Jay White's gonna win. Bullet Club for oh for yeah life. That could possibly mess and just blow my nose up. This at least goes through the reptilian part of my brain, and that's it. Sick and disturbing facts you learn every day from the one and only Hobo Tom. Yeah, that was all over the place. This one I always get wrong. That's okay. I'm only human. More human. More human than human. And then we have my. Match of the night. You have FTR versus Slap Nuts himself, Jeff Jarrett, and dun 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 Jay Lethal. I have Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal winning by some odd thing. Who knows? You might see Mark Briscoe get involved. Yeah, I have a change of belts there. I have FTR chase the belts for a while. Never hurts. Then your main event and my stone cold lock of the night. Or at least the show. We have MJF versus Sammy Guevara versus Darby Allen versus Jungle Boy. They have been teasing Jungle Boy becoming heel. As God knows, after what I heard about him in Bonnie Old England, he should be a heel. He's a jackass heel. So I have MJF winning. He's going to retain the belt. I just hope that this show's not super long, though. If it's over by 11.30, maybe midnight, well, I'd be okay with that. Monday's Memorial Day. I have to make another video soon. But yeah, I can kind of live with those choices. So those are the predictions from the one and only Hobo Tom. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll have the Memorial Day Madness video up. Memorial Day. Then there's nothing till July 4th. No soccer. Thank God. Freaking Colombians. Um, then the next non-wrestling video will be August. Actually, I think sometime in June or July. I think I might head on out to... I think something's coming to Orlando. It all depends on my work schedule. So I'll tell you what, that work schedule might change. Because I'm tired of new boss saying it was like this at this and I'm just always like that is not this this is a whole different beast other than that though I have to thank everyone for watching please like share comment subscribe and well I'll see everyone eventually bye
Let's let's get back to work. I make my